Perhaps the worst blow yet to Mr. Trump occurred in a federal courtroom. In advance of his sentencing hearing, former National Security Advisor Michael Flynn suggested that U.S. District Judge Emmett Sullivan take into account the fact that he was not specifically told of the obligation to tell the truth. The judge was infuriated, noting that Flynn already pleaded guilty to deliberately giving false answers to the FBI agents investigating his contacts with Russia. The judge let him have it, as the Washington Post reports, Flynn's attorneys asked for a delay after Judge Emmett Sullivan accused Flynn of acting as an unregistered agent of a foreign country, while serving as the national security advisor to the President of the United States, an allegation he later took back. Sullivan granted the request and asked for a status report in 90 days, though he said he was not making any promises that he would view the matter differently in three months. Sullivan also asked the prosecutor with the special counsel's office whether Flynn could be charged with treason. The judge postponed the sentencing, leaving the distinct possibility that Flynn could face jail time. The turn of events decimated the notion that Mr. Trump's associates' crimes are small beans. That wasn't the only calamity of the day. Mr. Trump is in the process of folding on his border wall, for which he lacks political support. His press secretary declared, We don't want to shut down the government, we want to shut down the border, her boss had said otherwise. Sarah Sanders insisted the money could be found elsewhere. That's a fairy tale aides or Congress might tell Trump, or he might tell himself. He cannot just do it. He needs Congress to authorize money that can be spent on his signature project. He cannot force them to do so. Likely House Speaker to be Nancy Pelosi and Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer called his bluff. He blinked. He will not get the one specific item he vowed to deliver for his rabid anti-immigrant base. This is what losing looks like. There was also bad news for Mr. Trump from the New York State Attorney General. Post reports, President Trump has agreed to shut down his embattled personal charity and to give away its remaining money amid allegations that he used the foundation for his personal and political benefit, New York Attorney General Barbara Underwood announced. Underwood said that the Donald J. Trump Foundation is dissolving as her office pursues its lawsuit against the charity, Trump and his three eldest children. The suit, filed in June, alleged persistently illegal conduct at the foundation and sought to have it shut down. Underwood said her investigation found a shocking pattern of illegality involving the Trump Foundation, including unlawful coordination with the Trump presidential campaign, repeated and willful self-dealing, and much more. By agreeing to close the foundation, Mr. Trump seems to give credence to Ms. Underwood's allegations. The existence of an illegal slush fund would knock out most politicians. With Mr. Trump, it is one more instance of contempt for the law and assertion of personal interests over public obligations. In sum, we saw just how little power Mr. Trump has over events. The prosecutors are closing in, his finances are being scrutinized, and he can't even tell his base, he delivered on the wall. Never has he looked so small and so weak. Copyright Washington Post Irish Independent